Hey everyone, welcome back to Osmer Pop. Blippi wants to do a few science experiments with us today. Let's go. Hi there, Osmer Pop. I'm so glad you and the Osmer fans are here. I have a bunch of fun science activities lined up. It'll be a really fun learning experience. Everyone ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, Osmer fans, let's have some fun. It looks like this is Blippi's first science kit. Let's see what our first activity is. Okay, activity one. Let's learn about density. Why do some things sink while others float? The first thing we have to do is place the ping pong ball on the scale. Is it light, medium, or heavy? All right, here's our scale. Let's place the ping pong on top. The weight is in the one range, so that means it's light. One is light, two is medium, and three is heavy. Let's check one more time. Yup, right around the one range. So this is on the lighter side. Now place the rubber ball on the scale. Which one weighs more? Okay, let's find out. Oh, this one's heavier. It's in the two range, so it's medium weight. Let's check again. Yup, two again. So it's not light or heavy, but a medium weight. Now that we checked the weights of our items, let's fill the large beaker with water. Before you drop each of the balls in, guess whether it will sink or float based on its weight. Now drop the balls in one at a time, what happened, and why. Okay, Osper fans, let's start with the ping pong. Do you think it will sink or float? The ping pong floats. Okay, how about the rubber ball? The rubber ball sinks. Great job if you guessed it right. Let's try again. So the rubber ball definitely sinks. And the ping pong floats. Now if you're wondering why, <laughs> Blippi has the answer. Hey Osprey fans, the two balls are about the same size, but the rubber ball is much heavier. This means that the rubber ball is more dense than the ping pong ball. Dense things sink, while less dense things float. Whoa! What a great first activity, right? Let's move on to activity number two now. You got it! Activity two, why boats float? Just add air to make a boat float. Okay, so we have to put the lid on the empty test tube and place it in the water. Did it sink or float? Alright, got an empty test tube. Let's place it in the water. Whoa! Check it out, Osmer fans. It's floating. Let's do it one more time. Yep, the empty tube doesn't sink. It's just floating on top. Now let's use a funnel to fill the test tube halfway with water. Put the lid on, and then place it in the water. Does it still float? Okay, give me a minute while I fill the test tube halfway. There we go. Now let's close the lid. Alright, let me quickly set up, and then I'll drop the test tube in the water. Oh, it touched the bottom, but the test tube is still floating. Right where my finger is. Here's a closer look. As you can see, the test tube is sinking compared to the first tube, but not completely, so you can say this is still floating. Okay, this time, fill the test tube to the top with water and put on the lid. Place this in the water, what happened? Alright, give me a minute while I set up. Fill the tube all the way up. There we go. Let's see what happens. Whoa, this is completely sinking. Let me show you again. As you can see, the test tube is touching the bottom. So a test tube completely filled with water sinks. Let's get more information from Blippi. Hey Osper fans, the empty test tube floats because it's full of air, which is much less dense than water. The full test tube will sink since the water inside makes it much heavier. Boats float because they have lots of air inside them. Another incredible activity! Osper fans, are you ready to do one more activity? Yep, let's go! Okay Osper fans, here's activity three, salty grapes. Does salt make things sink or float? 
So we have to find two clear drinking glasses, then fill one with water, and add two tablespoons of salt. Give the water a good stir until the salt has dissolved. Alright, give me a minute while I set this up. Add the salt. Give it a mix. Perfect! Now we need to fill the other glass with plain water. Okay. There we go. Now we have to place one grape in the salty water and another in the plain water. What happened to the grapes? Okay, let's find out. Oh, check it out! The grape in the plain water just sank, but the grape in the salty water is twirling around <laughs> and it looks like it wants to float. Maybe use more than two tablespoons of salt. If you do, I think the grape in the salty water will really float. Mine's basically sinking, but it's kind of floating too, so there's definitely a difference between plain water and salty water. Okay, Blippi. Okay, Oscar fans. Salty water is more dense than plain water. The oceans contain salty water. That's why you float more easily in the ocean than in a swimming pool. Pretty interesting stuff, right? Oscar fans, did you enjoy our sink or float activities today? <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm so happy if you did. I have another science kit ready to go. Next time, we'll learn about colors. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to do more fun science experiments soon. Well, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you all next time. Bye! Awesome or pop fans, thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff. And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya!